welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be talking about how I close out my budget for the previous paycheck and how I stuff my cash envelopes. So if you're interested in that, feel free to keep watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started. So how I close out my budget is I'll go ahead and take out my cash envelopes because I am an all cash spender. I do not use my debit card and I do that because it forces me to stay on budget I just like to go in to see if I have anything left over so for gas normally I don't have I spend all the money that I have allotted every single time for gas so actual I'm gonna put $50 that's not really going to change it takes $25 each week for me to get back and forth to work so that's really I'm always going to use all of that all right for restaurants let's see I didn't use all my money so 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 perfect so I saved $16 with restaurant, so actually I spent $34. That's big wins for me. It really is. Because if you knew me in college, what? I would not be able to survive off $50 for restaurant. I ate out every single day. Ava, she used all her money. She got a groom past week grocery I have $15 so that means I actually spent 85 of the hundred that I had planned the difference was 6 dollars and y'all don't ask me how I really don't know I feel like they make up prices as they go in the middle so salon it's normally always $70 this time it was cheaper how who knows but that's good um so I saved six dollars for nails that means I actually spent sixty four dollars And then giving, I use all 20. So actually, 20. Oh, I forgot to write Ava's. I'm sorry about that. And then my personal money, I don't have a cash envelope for that because I just keep it like right here in my wallet. Um, but I spent all my money. $100. All right, so then I'll add it up. 10, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. $37 that I saved from the last paycheck. So since I'm on a debt-free journey, this $37 will go towards my credit card because that's what I'm tackling right now. So anything extra, anything that I anticipated spending, but I did not go towards debt. I did. Okay, perfect. So then I wanted to show you guys how I prepare to restuff my cash envelopes. So I first start off by writing the total amount that I have to withdraw and then writing the categories, the seven categories that I have and how much money I'm putting in each category. So once I've written both of those, I then write down the denominations that I would like to have. So I don't really care to have big bills, so I normally tend to just do 20s, 10s, 5s, and 1s. So once I've written that, I go ahead and see how much, how many of each denomination would I like. So for example, for groceries, I'm getting out $100. I would just rather those be in 20s, so that's fine having five 20s 
for my groceries. And then I go ahead and check that off. For personal, it's the same thing. 520s. So then my nails, I like to have 220s, 210s, a 5 and 5 ones. And that's just because the price varies so much. So I want to have some wiggle room as far as tip and everything like that. And for Ava, I like to have 120, 110, and two fives. And that's just because I never really know what I'm gonna spend the money on for her. Sometimes it's grooming, sometimes it's just buying her something cute that I see at the store. So just having wiggle room once again. For giving, I normally just do two tens. So we'll check that off. For gas, I like to have two 20s and two fives. And that's because it takes exactly $25 to fill my car up. So. For restaurants, I like to have three tens, three fives, and then five ones. So perfect. So this is what I know I need to get out of the bank. So when I go up to the tailor, I do tell them that I want 15 20s, I need 8 10s, 8 5s, and so on. Um, it just It's just easier for me to do it that way. So I'm going to go off to the bank and then I'll be right back to show you guys how I'll stuff my envelope. Perfect. So I'm back from the bank. And this is like the little slip. I haven't made like an official slip yet, so I just rewrite it on the little paper that I have, any scrap paper that I have, and I take it inside so I can tell the teller exactly what I want. So I have 15, 20s. So now we can go ahead and stuff our envelopes. So first I have restaurant up, and then I wrote down exactly um, the denomination that I needed. So I said I would like three tens with three fives and five ones. This should be 50. Perfect. So that's correct. Go ahead and stuff this under. All right. Then we have gas. I know I said I wanted two 20s and two fives. Nails. Okay. So I said two twenties, two tens. Um, one five and five ones. And 
ne sürüşsedir. Ava Then for groceries, it's a hundred dollars. I know I want five of these. And the rest of it should be a hundred for my personal spending. I don't have an envelope for that because I just keep it in my wallet. But yep, so that's how I stuff my envelopes. I don't have many just because I really want to pay off debt. I don't want to put a lot of money towards a lot of other things. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. So you don't have to use the same method that I do. I just want to show you guys what works for me. If you feel more comfortable using your debit card, feel free to do that. It just didn't work for me because I noticed that I would still go over um, my budget in certain categories. So I know that with my cash, once it's gone, it's gone. So that's what works for me. If you guys are interested in seeing how I track the money that I spent, feel free to let me know that. I can do another video next week discussing that. Um, but thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll see you next week.